Okay, I think it's a warning light for my tire. It's that funny noise I've been hearing forever. Check left front tire pressure. Okay, but I thought the tire that was causing me issues was the last. Oh my God, this Cadillac's amazing. It tells me when I don't have enough air pressure. Oh my God, I don't know how to put air in the tire. I haven't learned that yet. Ah, I don't know. It looks simple, but who who the hell knows? I, I'm afraid I've, I've got this thing about electricity and putting air in a tire. I'm afraid I'm not, I'm afraid all the air is going to escape. <laughs> I don't know. But I broke my toe. I broke my toe, so I can't go to work because they, you know, a lot of times I've been called all on, on my day off to come in, and I've been like shopping or something else. And I said, "Well, the only clothes I have is, you know, blue jeans and flip flops." No, you can't come in. Okay, so I can't wear shoes. I can I can only wear flip flops. My toe hurt so bad the first night. I never slept and I cried. Uh, now this happened after I had a handyman and his wife over and um, my girlfriend knows how to put air in tires I get her to do it oh my god first I have to find an air pressure pump well the Mexican restaurant in town is open it's got good reviews um so back to my broken toe. Everybody's saying, well, how in the hell did you do it? Well, after five hours of cleaning with this handyman and his wife, I was looking at my rugs in uh, my bedroom and my son's girlfriend, I think she must have dropped some like blush and it was all over the carpet and I didn't feel like I didn't feel like cleaning it because I, I was exhausted. So I just, you know, bunched it up in the hallway while I was doing other things. And then I walked down the hallway without thinking. And my toe caught that rug in such a way that it flipped my toe all the way up. And I, I was praying to God. Oh, my God. I was, like, screaming. So I missed yesterday at work. I'm missing today. And uh, I just found out that when I had lunch with my granddaughter and her fiance about 10 days ago, uh, we sat really close together in the hotel. I mean, and not in the hotel, but in the restaurant. And of course we didn't have masks on. We, you know, we've all been vaccinated. Well, he caught COVID. And now he has COVID. My granddaughter got tested. She doesn't have it. So he's quarantining. Now, all of a sudden, this morning, I woke up with severe diarrhea. Now, I've been having loose bowels for the last month. I think it's stress. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know. But um, So I've been trying to eat a lot of roughage, and it's still not helping that issue. Don't get a flat tire. I'm gonna go to the riverboat and hang out. I have to stay out of my house for three hours because it's an open house. So back to the handyman and his wife. He painted my bathroom and did all the electrical work that should have been done years ago. I couldn't get my son to do it because he was actually fixing dryers and um, underneath my sink, you know, and then I had to change the door locks. I had to fix my faucet. I had to fix my garbage disposal. So he was doing little things. He could have done a little bit more, but he's already working 11 hours a day. So, you know, you can't put too much pressure on people who are living with you. So where am I at in the story? going to park in handicap. Okay. So, oh, yeah. So, I always wake up in pain. What the hell is this guy doing? He's like, won't move. You've got to move, sir. Oh, jeez. He stopped in the middle of the parking lot to text. 
Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I could sit here for a little while. So, I wake up every morning in pain. So, I wouldn't know if I had aches or pains anyway. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow up my bangs because my hair is so thin here. I can't put the bangs down like that. So, I'm going to just grow them out so it eventually is the same length as my hair because that's the only way I can camouflage that. Okay. So, um, I've been congested for three months. So I don't think I have COVID because I've been congested for three months and uh, I think I'm under a lot of stress. You know, maybe that's what it is because one of the early side effects is diarrhea, aches and pains, fever, chills. So uh, other than that, I feel great. But my brother uh, caught it and two of his grandchildren have it and they're like four and six years old. Um, If this is my brother's favorite gum. I got it on sale for 17 cents. Okay. So, yesterday, this is the first showing on my house. I went I went and had breakfast at uh, a local diner, and it was great. And I went and vacuumed my car with a shitty vacuum. And um, I enjoyed that breakfast. Oh, my God. And they had tomato juice. I'm a tomato nut. Okay, so everybody's putting up tents at the beach. Oh my God. I've lived here for five and a half years, never laid out on the beach while I've lived here. I've laid out on the beach before I bought here, but that is how much I've worked. So I found this beautiful home, a log cabin in West Virginia. It was 190,000. I crunched the numbers. I kept calling the realtor. She says, they're totally booked for showings two days in a row, so I know it's going to be sold. So I'm not going to drive three and a half hours to get there. Uh, you know, and then I won't have any money. I have to go back to work if I buy that place. So, um, my girlfriend in Ocean City, where I used to live, she owns a hotel. She offered me a two-room little studio suite for me to live there week to week, you know. So I'm going for that. I do believe I'm going to go for that. Um, so my house is so gorgeous. They work so hard. I took the last money that I had and paid them. And uh, they work so hard. And that night I died. I mean, I could barely make it to the bed. That's when I broke my toe. I was dragging my feet. I've, I've, I have actually broken a toe about 40 years ago I was bush hogging uh, all of our neighborhood and I had flip-flops on which you should not wear flip-flops on a bush hog and my toe got my little toe went this way and I didn't want to stop bush hogging because I love to do that and I just knocked it back and joined okay <laughs> so yeah my my place is so gorgeous see it's it's never looked like this because anybody who knows anything knows that the previous owners upstairs, the mother flooded me eight times. Her son inherited, she, he flooded me twice. I sued his ass. Then when the new owners came in, I threatened them. I said, you flood me once and you will be in court before you can say my name. I said, I want whatever's up there wrong. I want it fixed. And they did. Now, he bought his place for 125 because that owner that I sued wanted it gone. So he bought it for 125 and he's selling his, which has never been remodeled in 40 years. It looks old and dated for 215 Mine is totally redone. They took out uh, a little partition in the kitchen to open it up to the living room. They put in granite, brand new, beautiful white cabinets, glass. It's just gorgeous. Pendant lights. They put in hardwood floors and a Trex deck. And we, I have ceramic tile in my bathroom where they don't, I don't believe. Um, so I had it listed for 229 and I go, what the hell? I need to up it up, you know, so I upped it up to 239 Well, people came in yesterday after I came, um, when I went to get my car 
vacuumed. They were still there and they were only supposed to be there for a half hour. And I even waited an extra 45 minutes. I think they already put in an offer and my realtor goes, what do you want to close? I go, well, at the end of September, but then I for remember we're already on September 11th. We're already on September 11th. So, you know, that's not too long, but I've closed on property in seven days. So don't think it's not possible because it is. So, um, then there's an open house today. So I got to stay gone for three hours. So a lot of people at the beach. I'm glad. I'm glad. But it got a little chilly last night. So uh, the floors are vacuumed. They're washed. All the dishes are done. Uh, all the windows were done. We had to do the windows, I think, four times because I couldn't do deep cleaning when my son was living there. I couldn't do deep cleaning. So that's an update on my life. And I'm gonna get go in and um, I can't walk very much at all because I'll be, I, I will hurt my toe. I heard that if you don't address a broken toe, it can cause other issues, severe issues. You can have severe deformity, you know, may not be able to wear any decent shoes. So um, I may have to go to the doctor and, and uh, get an x-ray, but my God, even though I have Medicare A, B, D, and L, um, I still can't afford the, I can't afford anything right now. So, so I will say goodbye and, uh, keep watching me for my adventure. And I hope everybody out there has gotten vaccinated because this is how I feel. If you're not vaccinated and you get COVID, don't you dare go to the hospital. You're taking away space that could be for someone with a heart attack or who has cancer. So don't go to the hospital if you haven't made those precautions. That's how I feel. Howard Stern agrees with me. Um, so leave the beds open for people who have gotten vaccinated and who have other issues. All right. Bye.